Hi everyone, good morning. This little video will have nothing to do with the plants, the lamps and the antiques. It is put up as a warning I suppose. Anyhow, I'll tell you the whole story. Three days ago my neighbour informed me that my car had been attacked. So I thought, oh hell, more trouble. So I went out and checked it and sure enough the rear screen on the actual door, it's a, uh, or what they call it, you open the back up to put in stuff. Anyhow, sure enough the whole glass was completely smashed there was a little hole inside and I immediately thought well if they've smashed it to actually get anything from inside not that there was anything in in there um, well the only thing was in there was <laughs> was a can of oil and that was still there um, and a dash cam which was at the front of the car and this happened at the back anyway I had a close look and a neighbour said look there's a bloody ball bearing in there and in the back and I could hardly see it mind you I should have seen it with 2020 vision ah you can joke I suppose I didn't feel at the time like joking anyhow there was a ball bearing in there well to cut a long story short I contacted uh, the uh, actual insurers because they do a service with the glass people and they the glass people charge you about 60 pounds and that can be numerous times uh, just pay the 60 pounds well, I say just pay the 60 pounds 60 pounds is 60 pounds and to a pensioner that's not easy anyhow I had the gentleman arrive the next day Fortunately, it didn't rain during the night, so no water got in. Anyhow, when the gentleman arrived, he informed me, Oh, don't laugh. We've had five other complaints of exactly the same thing. And the police, who I had to get um, a number from, said, Oh, yes, and they put out a plate glass window. Well, my question is, what has happened to law and order? It seems in this country, Great Britain, why it's called Great Britain, I do not know. As I stated before, I'm half Canadian and I look upon being more a European than an English person. And this kind of activity hasn't really persuaded me to change my views. Well, anyhow, the police said they were going to come down, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, I'm not a celebrity. I'm not a wealthy footballer. So, no, the police didn't come down. They didn't even look at the car. I would have thought if they were worth their salt, they would have picked up the ball bearing and checked for fingerprints. Yes, I know it sounds daft, but there's been five others of these in the area around Mitcham, Croydon, Wallington, Presumably car shorten as well. I won't say where the car was parked. It wasn't illegally parked. It's where I park it all the time. Well, anyhow, the gentleman arrived from the glass firm. He changed the glass and I duly paid over my £60. But he did say, oh, I can't get your rear wiper assembly and I'll show it to you now. I can't fit it again. And the simple reason was, through age and dampness ingressing, here a bolt goes through to the main wiper arm and that is completely seized up. I've tried all the tricks. I've tried uh, the, the, uh, the WD method. No luck. 
and what it means is I've got to, well I'm not going to, but I would have to buy a complete new motor. So that is possibly going to add more money to the whole thing. Um, needless to say, I'm not pleased about it. Um, as I said, law and order in this country is broken down. You hear every night, more or less every night, someone's been stabbed and killed. And it appears to me that the police are only interested if, as I said, you're a celebrity or got pots of money. There's plenty of examples to bear me out on that. So that is more or less my story. I'm just going to walk over the other side. I just want to check something. I'm doing about a dozen jobs at once. Um, I can see, see my little pussy. It's the only thing that keeps me si uh, sane. Anyway, getting back to the... Um, there's the other pussies. They've got a lovely life. They haven't got to worry about ball bearings put into cars. But it just goes to show, and I thought I would, I would let you know, as a warning, how safe things are. They can have ball bearings through. It was either, I would think it was probably sent, uh, it, it, it was projected by a catapult. It was too large for a gun, but that wouldn't so, uh, surprise me, um, the, uh, the way th things are going. And this area where I live is supposed to be a nice area. And the story was, it was a couple of kids on bikes, so I was told. Well, if someone knows that, why don't the police know it? They're not bothered. They seem to be underpaid by the government, which, which is going through a, a terrible state. In fact, the whole country is. Anyhow, I've had my little moan. There's the actual motor. I've, I've looked for uh, uh, used ones or second-hand ones. It's off of a Seat. Um, tell them what I'd better say. Chances of me picking up one one of those at a boot sale would be pretty remote. But it's a um, Kia seed um, peculiar name quite a nice car but I'm sort of in the throes of thinking well is it time I invested in a new well it might be a new car um, but a fresh car well there, there's the bits there if anyone's got one one of those for spare let me know but they probably haven't I'm joking but anyhow that's my little story I'll try and put up, up another bulb or something but I thought yeah uh, this should be told so people know what to expect the kind of reaction they get which is nil and how much it could cost 60 pounds with one of these motors in my case the motor was perfectly okay perfectly okay and if, a, if the damage hadn't been done that motor would still be working today so I, to replace this I would probably have to fork out a hundred quid or, or thereabouts I don't know how much they are new they had some uh, similar items uh, used on eBay and they were talking about 40 quid 50 quid so I know damn well a new assembly like that would probably cost a hundred pounds and why should I pay that I've done nothing wrong now you can see why I've got no faith in this country at all and if I had the money which I haven't I'd move to the continent they get a much fairer deal over there and it seems to be a much nicer place to live anyhow I've said my bits I'll try and put a bulb up uh, later at least it keeps me sane. These things drive me round the bend. Anyhow, I've got my three cats which do keep me sane. And uh, thank you for watching. Beware. Your car could be the next one. Either have your tyres slashed or a ball bearing through your windscreen or your rear window or any window come to that. Not very funny. 
and the police won't do anything. They're underpaid and everything else. So, anyhow, mind you, if you're a celebrity, you get all the help. This is typical of this country. Anyhow, I'm glad there's free speech over here. I don't often have a go. I've never been to Speaker's Corner on a soapbox, although I'm tempted to at times. I think, you know, having been around for over 70 years, I think I'm entitled to say a few things. If anyone wants to, uh, to shut me up, then <laughs> they've got a chance to. Any answers are well welcome. Anyhow, thanks again, and I'm clearing down to put this up. Thank you once again.